What's up everyone, this is Coindog here with a video to compare the RE7B with the Tempesta. So there's been a lot of discussion recently in the GTA community since the Christmas update about the uh, Tempesta and whether it's better than the RE7B or not. Um, you may or may not have seen around YouTube, there's, you know, there's been some video testing done of these two cars. Uh, there's been some very heated debates um, on the comments of some of these videos as well between people about which one's better and why and how accurate some of the testing has been so based on that I decided I'd do my own testing uh, on my own track well, obviously with my skills to see how they compare now I'm by no means a pro racer I'm probably I would say above average uh, in public lobbies generally I will I will win um, but if I'm in some more uh, competitive races then you know I'm normally top 10 um, I do actually win the race that you're watching at the moment which is like the only race I've ever won in a competitive uh, lobby so yeah um, so just to talk about the cars first, so the in terms of how they lock, obviously the RE7B, I'm not, it's based on a on a Le Mans car, obviously, but um, I don't personally like the liveries that you can get, and if you race it without one, then it looks a bit like a blob, as you can see on this video, it's uh, it's not a very attractive car in my opinion in terms of how it looks. Um, that being said, in terms of how it how it drives, it is a, a very very quick car. Um, uh, if it, it drives like an out real drive car it's very oversteery i find um and it's it it does break traction out of corners quite easily um and i i for that reason i would probably say it's quite difficult to drive on the limit um you know i i can drive it on the limit certainly as you, again as you can see in this video um but it's it requires a great deal of concentration it's very easy to make a little mistake and and you know lose a lot of time just spin your back wheels up and that sort of thing um, so it's it's very similar, I would say, to the LG in terms of um, in the sports car class, the LG. Although it's it's the quickest car, it's very very difficult to drive it for that that quick. Um, and you know, a lot of people cannot get the speed out of it that some of the better drivers can. Uh, and then the Tempesta is like the complete opposite to that to the RE7B. Um, it's obviously based on a Lamborghini. It looks very good, uh, apart from the spoilers. The spoilers are a bit of a letdown, I find, because you have to have. You have to have a spoiler to get the traction uh, benefit um, and the spoilers that they give you on offer are all big spoilers and I don't like big spoilers on cars you know I think they, they, they ruin the look of the car um, so yeah I was a little bit disappointed with that but overall the car looks very good um, it drives like a four-wheel drive car it's very understeery compared to the RE7B um, but you, you don't tend to break traction out of corners very easily however I do find that when you're going around high speed corners that it will kind of skip out wide a little bit whereas the RE7B doesn't um, I would probably say that's down to the downforce st stat that the RE7B has that the Tempesta doesn't um, the Tempesta itself though is it's a, definitely a lot easier to drive on the limit um, you know I I the videos that you'll see later I hadn't driven the car the, the RE7B I've used for for since the cutting stunt update in every single supercar race pretty much uh, the tempesta that you'll see in this video uh, later on i've only just started using and um you know i've i very very quickly got to grips with it um and i can do some good good uh, lap times with it quite easily um, and i find it that you don't have to be concentrating really really hard all the time to drive it like you do with the re7b it's it's a bit like the jester race car in the sports class i would say where you know the jester race car anyone can pick up and as long as you've got average skills you can drive that car well um whereas going back to what we we're talking about before with the elegy you need to be a really good driver and really concentrating to drive that car on the limit so yeah so that's just a little bit about the cars so what we'll do now is we'll lead into the uh the testing videos that i've done for these two vehicles and uh, i'll show you how they compare in my opinion on my track Okay guys, so this is just an example lap for the RE7B, um, this isn't the, the fastest time I did, it's just to show you the kind of way it handles on a typical lap, so you can see through those corners there how it was just trying to step out all the time, it's just a characteristic of this car, um, brakes traction very easily, but you, you can learn to, to catch it. So it took that corner well, I think it, yeah, it brakes traction again through this corner here, um, and then up the hill. Uh, when we get to the top of the hill here, it's I suppose this car's got a little bit of a disadvantage to some others because it's so long, um, such a tight corner, but the Tempesta kind of has the same issue. It takes the corner in the same way, so it doesn't matter too much. Um, this corner here on, on the highway, this is absolutely flat out in this car, no problems at all for this. 
into the chicane just here. Um, that bump just there, it didn't break traction on lap, that lap, but it had done on most of the other ones that I've been doing. Uh, back down the hill here into this corner. It's quite a difficult corner this to get right with any car. Um, out wide, and then you saw again there, just break traction again a little bit, but it doesn't really cost too much time when you do that, and then it's absolutely flat out through this corner. So that's just an example lap time for you guys. Um, I said that the quickest lap that this car managed in, I think I did about 30 laps with this car now, um, was a 114.957. So that's that's the lap time that we got with this one. And we'll now go on to the, uh, the Tempesta and we'll see how that compares. All right, guys. So this is the uh, the or an example lap for the Tempesta. So you can see the difference between the two. So straight away through that section there, apart from that little mistake there, the the car's so much more planted. The back end isn't sliding around there through every corner. Um, it's it's quite easy to go through that section. Um, same same through here. Back end just moves a little bit there, but it's it's no big deal. It's easy enough to catch and. Um, this is all down to the four-wheel drive system on this vehicle. And at this corner again, you can see it's pretty tight for, for this car, just like it is with the other. Um, not a great deal in it. Now, interesting section coming up here with this car. This this corner here, you'll just see, it just started to slide out wide a bit there. You couldn't take that completely flat. Um, just through here. Um, that's so interesting. That, that lost the, the traction on that bump. Just caught the wall there. Um, down the hill, catch the little curb boost on the side here, and then around the corner. Again, it, it's it, you can just see it doesn't move around as much under acceleration and braking. It's pretty planted. That corner there as well, you couldn't take completely flat. You just had to do a little lift because of the uh, the understeer this car suffers from. So yeah, so that that gives you an example with that car. Now in terms of lap times, we got a one fifteen point zero nine four with that vehicle. Um, so that is what a tenth, tenth and a half difference between this car and the RE7B. It's a very, very small amount. Um, the RE7B is definitely quicker, um, but you, you're talking such a small amount that you know one mistake anywhere would make up that difference. And I'm just an average driver, as I said. You know, it, it, it may be different for more experienced people. Um, I think from my testing what I would I would recommend to people is that if you are a an advanced driver then the RE7B is probably the car to buy um, but if you're just average or just a little bit above average like me then the Tempesta is probably the the car to go for just because it's it's easier to drive quick uh, but I guess it all depends as well on what what you want I mean if you if you want to improve your driving then the RE7B is definitely the one to go for because you know, you're going to learn how to handle a more difficult car that way. But if you just want to be able to, to pick up a car and race quick, then I would definitely recommend the Tempesta. So that's everything, guys. Thanks very much for your time. Um, and check back again soon for some more great comparison videos. Coin Dog out. It's quite easy to go through that section. Um, same, same through here back end just moves a little bit there but it's it's no big deal it's easy enough to catch and um but this is all down to the four-wheel drive system on this vehicle and at this corner again you can see it's pretty tight for for this car just like it is with the other um not a great deal in it now interesting section coming up here with this car this this corner here, you'll just see it just started to slide out wide a bit there you couldn't take that completely flat um just through here um, that's so interesting that that lost the the traction on that bump. Oops, just caught the wall there. Um, down the hill, catch the little curb boost on the side here, and then around the corner. Again, it, it's it, you can just see it doesn't move around as much under acceleration and braking. It's pretty planted. That corner there as well, you couldn't take completely flat. You just had to do a little lift because of the uh, the understeer this car suffers from. So yeah, so that, that gives you an example with that car. Now, in terms of lap times, we got a 115.094 with that vehicle. Um, so that is, what, a tenth, 
tenth and a half difference between this car and the RE7B. It's a very, very small amount. Um, the RE7B is definitely quicker, um, but you, you're talking such a small amount that you know one mistake anywhere would make up that difference. And I'm just an average driver. As I, the videos that you'll see later, I hadn't driven the car. The, the RE7B I've used for for since the current stunt update in every single supercar race, pretty much. Uh, the Tempesta that you'll see in this video uh, later on, I've only just started using, and um, you know I've I very very quickly got to grips with it, um, and I can do some good good uh, lap times with it quite easily, um, and I find it that you don't have to be concentrating really really hard all the time to drive it like you do with the RE7B. It's it's a bit like the Jester race car in the sports class, I would say, where you know the Jester race car anyone can pick up and as long as you've got average skills you can drive that car well um, whereas going back to what we were talking about before with the Elegy you need to be a really good driver and really concentrating to drive that car on the limit so yeah so that's just a little bit about the cars so what we'll do now is we'll lead into the uh, the testing videos that I've done for these two vehicles and uh, I'll show you how they compare in my opinion on my track Okay guys, so this is just an example lap for the RE7B and um, this isn't the, the fastest time I did, it's just to show you the kind of way it handles on a typical lap so you, you can see through those corners there how it was just trying to step out all the time, it's just a characteristic of this car, um, brakes traction very easily but you, you can learn to, to catch it. So it took that corner well, I think it, yeah, it brakes traction again through this corner here um, and then up the hill. It, it does break traction out of corners quite easily um, and I, I for that reason I would probably say it's quite difficult to drive on the limit um, you know I, I can drive it on the limit certainly as you, again as you can see in this video um, but it's it requires a great deal of concentration it's very easy to make a little mistake and and you know lose a lot of time just spin your back wheels up and that sort of thing um, so it's it's very similar I would say to the elegy in terms of um, in the sports car class the elegy although it's it's the quickest car it's very very difficult to drive it for that that quick um, and you know a lot of people cannot get the speed out of it that some of the better drivers can uh, and then the Tempesta is like the complete opposite to that to the RE7B um, it's obviously based on a Lamborghini it looks very good uh, apart from the spoilers the spoilers are a bit of a letdown I find because you have to have you have to have a spoiler to get the traction uh, benefit um, and the spoilers that they give you on offer are all big spoilers and I don't like big spoilers on cars you know I think they, they, they ruin the look of the car um, so yeah I was a little bit disappointed with that but overall the car looks very good um, it drives like a four-wheel drive car it's very understeery compared to the RE7B um, but you, you don't tend to break traction out of corners very easily however I do find that when you're going around high speed corners that it will kind of skip out wide a little bit whereas the RE7B doesn't um, I would probably say that's down to the downforce to the stat that the RE7B has that the Tempesta doesn't. Um, the Tempesta itself, though, is it's a, definitely a lot easier to drive on the limit. Um, you know, I. What's up, everyone? This is Coin Dog here with a video to compare the RE7B with the Tempesta. So there's been a lot of discussion recently in the GTA community since the Christmas update about the uh, Tempesta and whether it's better than the RE7B or not. Um, you may or may not have seen around YouTube there's, you know, there's been some video testing done of these two cars uh, there's been some very heated debates um, on the comments of some of these videos as well between people about which one's better and why and how accurate some of the testing has been so based on that I decided I'd do my own testing uh, on my own track obviously with my skills to see how they compare now I'm by no means a pro racer I'm probably I would say above average uh, in public lobbies generally I will I will win um, but if I'm in some more uh, competitive races, then you know I'm normally top ten. Um, I do actually win the race that you're watching at the moment, which is like the only race I've ever won in a competitive uh, lobby. So yeah. Um, so just to talk about the cars first. So the in terms of how they lock, obviously the RE7B. I'm not. It's based on a on a Le Mans car, obviously, but um, I don't personally like the liveries that you can get and if you race it without one then it looks a bit like a blob as you can see on this video it's uh, it's not a very attractive car in my opinion in terms of how it looks um, that being said in terms of how it how it drives it is a, a very very quick car um, I, it, it, it drives like an out of drive car it's very oversteery i find 
um, and it's uh, when we get to the top of the hill here it's I suppose this car's got a little bit of a disadvantage to some others because it's so long um, such a tight corner but the Tempesta kind of has the same issue it takes the corner in the same way so it doesn't matter too much um, this corner here on, on the highway this is absolutely flat out in this car no problems at all for this into the chicane just here um, that bump just there it didn't break traction on lap, that lap but it had done on most of the other ones that I've been doing uh, back down the hill here into this corner it's quite a difficult corner this to get right with any car um, out wide and then you saw again there it just break traction again a little bit but it doesn't really cost too much time when you do that and then it's absolutely flat out through this corner so that's just an example lap time for you guys um, it said that the quickest lap that this car managed in I think I did about 30 laps with this car now um, was a 114.957 so that's that's the lap time that we got with this one and we'll now go on to the uh, the Tempesta and we'll see how that compares All right, guys. So this is the uh, the la or an example lap for the Tempesta. So you can see the difference between the two. So straight away through that section there, apart from that little mistake there, the the car's so much more planted. The back end isn't sliding around there through every corner. Um, it 